on his travels. He's going to tell us all about the unexplored corners across the pond over in America. Matt, good to see you. Good to see you both. <laughs> and you've come straight from the farm, because you're still a farmer. It's yeah. still having yeah, up, yeah, up yeah. in the oh, dales. No, yeah, I've been up, up north, so my kids are watching from up there. Wow. And uh, mum and dad as well. Do you want to say hello to them all? <laughs> say hello to them all. Hello there. They've probably been <laughs> up <laughs> since 5 a.m. Like, oh, working away. Yeah? It's tough. No, to be honest with you, things are a lot easier uh, than they were before. And that was the whole reason why we were doing what we were doing back on our family farm. My mum had this nasty accident, and as things progress, you think, how do we make this sustainable for them to continue loving the way, living the way that they love? And so we made all these changes, changed our flocks over to sheep that were easier to manage. And uh, do you know what? Things are going great up there. Just now. a beautiful TV show, like pure escapism, Joe. So you just drift mm -hmm. off watching you. Uh, it's just a Thanks, wonderful yeah. show. Well, it's we're, we're quite a quirky family, and to be honest with you, it's, that's the way it's always been. And you know, I've done lots of different television programs, and nobody's really seen that side of me before. But that's that's been my life. That's shaped me. That's made me, you know, who I am, the countryside that I grew up in and that, that lifestyle and that way of life. So we put it on the telly and people enjoy spending time with us. Oh, yes, cool. we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> and you swapped um, sheep farming in the UK for the yeah. Americas. Well, do you know, this is interesting because because people really enjoyed that show so much and it was kind of, it was real and it just is the way that it is. Whenever I go on holiday, I don't go to beach areas. I go to the rural parts and I love to talk to farmers and those that are rearing livestock and all of that. And so I thought, well, why don't you just film what I do when I go abroad? And so that's the heartbeat of this series. And really, it's all about the people. It's about the community. It's about those quiet people in rural America that you don't often hear about. And this is not about Las Vegas and monster trucks. It's like a cross between Little House on the Prairie and, oh, and, and Yellowstone. My favourite, my yeah. favourite. Where did you travel to, Matt? So, we, well, we did Florida, started in Florida, then we did Texas, Arizona, California. But honestly, the people that I met, the ranchers, I know you've got a thing for cowboys. Oh, yeah, I've got you? a little mm. thing for cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Those are no yes. secret. I, I, and rugby I, players. No, and yeah. dancers. And rugby players. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, cowboys. but I mean, I was up on horseback with, with the ranchers out was there. She? And I was diving on the barrier reef down because they have real problems with the barrier reef there. Um, I was meeting those who were effectively farming coral. Wow. And they, uh, they then harvest the coral when it gets to a certain length and then they stick it back to the existing reef with epoxy resin and so that the, the barrier reef itself can then can continue to grow and all of those species and all that come back. So although it was... Ways, Matt. Yeah, wow. yeah. Although it was, you know, agriculture at its heart, it's those who are working within the landscape and, and finding out what makes them tick. And I mean, we turned up and it was very unscripted. I mean, it was like, please show me what you do. And because of that way, as soon as they realised that I was really into what they were, were doing, they were so welcoming and so on. They were just opening up their barns and saying, look at all my old Incredibly and... short. That was a beautiful yeah. bit of shooting. Yeah, there. no, it's a, it's a great crew. Actually, crew-wise, it's the same crew that I, I, we used to film our farm in the dales with so it's very much connected and all those tones and the heartbeat that we had on our farm i've just widened it out to the scale though matt when, when you go into rural america oh, the size of the farms it's extraordinary unbelievable it? yeah and actually we went into arizona as well and i met up with a colorado river indian tribe that used the colorado river to irrigate their crops in the middle of the desert and they were showing me all these techniques of how they can grow crops in the sand. I mean, it was just incredible. But they go back through all their an ancestry and the Miccosukee tribe as well, in the Everglades, who fled there, you know, just for protection. And then they made that place their home, working within the landscape and growing crops at certain times of the year and being in, in tune with Mother Nature in that respect. So, is, it, is it as tough for them farming over there as it is for all the farmers over here? Yeah, struggling? I think it is. I mean, it's it's one of those things where there's, the, yes, there's, there's the industry side of it, there's making the money, and then there's providing for yourself and for your family and that way of life, you know. You know yourself, it's not a job being a farmer. No. It's a way of life. It's yeah. a lifestyle. And you've got to love it. And, and again, it goes back to my, my upbringing. And that's what's made me tick. That's my work ethic. Your, earth, your work ethic is for each other and for the people that your neighbours and those that are around you. And that's, that, again, that, that really strikes through in this series. Well, they're the hardest working people, farmers, aren't they? Oh, I've never yeah. known yeah, a bunch totally. of people that work so hard. Yeah. And we have the best in the world. I mean, I've yeah. been all over the world and seen lots of farmers, and British farmers, without question, are the best. Matt, has it changed you, this series? Because you do feel a little bit different. Like, has it changed? Well, yeah. you're probably seeing me in my natural state, not as a TV presenter. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not covered in mud for a change. <laughs> I'm not going to wear these on, yeah. Exactly. Um, I, I tell you, that when you do things like this, it really makes you connect with what, what makes you feel good. Do you know what I mean? And you bring stuff back, and now <laughs> it has it changed me. It's kind of changed the way I farm a little bit, because now I lasso my sheep. 
You not see your shape, do you? What, do you wear a cowboy hat? Man. Yes, well, I bought my dad a cowboy hat. We went to ML Ladies, which is in Fort Worth, which is near to Dallas. Which is, We went to this incredible stock show, so I got to meet all the brilliant uh, stock producers out there. And we went to this place, they make cowboy hats. I mean, you would love it. Cowboy hats, cowboy boots, ML Ladies. And uh, yes, yeah, so I bought one for my dad. Amazing. So now he goes around the Durham Dales wearing steps. <laughs> Do you know, as, as you'll know as a farmer, one of the most important parts of the day is giving the weather forecast. Yeah. Totally. And we've got to do that now, but it's been so lovely Thank to you, see Mark. you. Thank and we can't you. wait to see Thank the new you. series. Yes. Thank Always you so a much. pleasure. Thank you.